Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on MongoDB. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this video we will learn how to use MongoDB Compass to import JSON and CSV file and after importing how we can use the MongoDB Compass to query and filter our documents. The first step in using the MongoDB Compass is to make a connection. You can either make connection with your local server or with an online server. After establishing a connection, we will add a new database by clicking the plus button beside database and I am going to provide a database name and a collection name. In order to import the data, I am going to navigate to the collection and then click the import data button present in green in the bottom of the screen. Then I am going to select the file type and the actual file which I want to import into the database. After selecting the data file, click on import and then click done. And you will see that all the data present in the file has been successfully imported into our sample collection of the sample DB. And similarly, you can also import a CSV file into your MongoDB collection. Now we are going to see how we can query the documents present in the collection using the MongoDB compass. So for curing the data, you can use this filter part of the MongoDB compass. Here you have to define the field on the basis of which you want to filter out the result. For example, if I want to have all the documents for all the pets where age is greater than 5, I am going to write this query here. Here first you have to define the attribute on the basis of which you want to filter out the result and then you have to define the condition. So since I want the age to be greater than 5, so I'm going to use this greater attribute and I'm going to define 5 here. So what this is going to do is it is going to filter out the documents where age is greater than 5. Now upon clicking find, you will see that all the documents in the output have been filtered on the basis of age greater than 5. But you can see that all the records are randomly placed. There is no sequence in it. So if you want to further modify the data, you can click here, which says more options. So in order to sort out the data, you can use this sort field here. Here you simply have to define the field on the basis of which you want to sort. So since I want to sort on the basis of age, so I'm going to say age and set it to one. Okay. Now when I click find, it is going to sort the documents on the basis of age in ascending order. Okay, so our data has been sorted. Now, but you can see that all the records present in the document, for example, pet ID, name, kind, gender, age, owner, everything is showing in the output. If I want to display only the pet ID, name and age of the pet, for that, I can use this project attribute. Here, you have to define all the attributes for which you want to display in the output. I want pet ID, so I'm going to set it to one, separated by comma. Then I want to have name, set it to one, and I want to have age in the output and set it to one, okay? Now let's click find. Now you can see that our result set is restricted to only pet ID, name, and age. But you can see that this auto-generated object ID is being displayed for each document. If we want to remove it too, you, we can simply do one thing in the project after age, add a comma and simply write underscore ID and set it to zero. This means that we do not want this attribute to be a part of our output. Now let's click find. Yeah, you can see that ID has been removed. Uh, now, there are two other options like skip and limit. Skip is used to skip any particular number of rows from the output starting from the first row. For example, if you want to skip first five rows from the output, you can write five here and click find. So the first five rows will be skipped. Okay. Now, if I want to limit, limit is used to limit the output to a certain number of records. For example, if I only want to display 10 documents from the pets collection, I'm going to limit it to 10. And when I will click find, you will see only the top five documents from the collection have been displayed in the output. In this way, you can use project sort collation skip and limit to curate your database and filter out the result in different ways. Thank you.